Okay, we're going to move on now to that new bombshell in the Russia investigation. Prosecutors accusing former Trump campaign chair Paul Manafort of sharing polling data with a man tied to Russian intelligence during the 2016 campaign. It is the clearest sign yet of possible collusion between the Trump team and Russia. Our chief justice correspondent Pierre Thomas is tracking the case from Washington. Pierre, the accusation revealed by one of Manafort's own attorneys. George, good morning. That's right. Manafort's attorneys accidentally posted this information in a court filing yesterday, and it was supposed to be redacted. But make no mistake, this revelation is startling. Mueller's team is accusing Manafort of lying about sharing polling data related to the 2016 presidential campaign with a man suspected of having ties to Russian intelligence. In fact, one of the special counsel's witnesses has described Konstantin Kalimnik as being a former member of the Russian military's GRU. The same outfit accused of hacking the DNC. FBI agents working with the special counsel say Kalimnik's ties to Russian intelligence continued during the 2016 election season. Administration critics, including House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff, are suggesting this could be hard evidence of collusion, George. Yeah, this is during the campaign, but we don't know exactly what the polling data was, right? That's right. We don't know yet, George, but it's potentially the kind of information that the Russians who were doing the trolling and trying to interfere with the campaign might have found useful. Meantime, Pierre, on another front, the deputy attorney general who had been overseeing the Russian investigation, Russian investigation, Rod Rosenstein, has now told the president he's going to be leaving soon. That's right, George. Rosenstein, the man who launched the special counsel Russian investigation, is expected to depart his role in the coming weeks. Multiple sources telling us that Rosenstein has communicated to the White House and the president that he plans to leave the administration around the time that Trump's attorney general nominee, William Barr, would be confirmed. There's no indication that Rosenstein is being forced out at this moment by President Trump. He apparently came to the conclusion a new attorney general may want a say in who his deputy would be. Right, and, if, and once Barr comes in as, as attorney general, if indeed he is confirmed, he would oversee the Russian investigation because he wouldn't be recused in any way, unlike the former attorney general, Jeff Sessions. That's correct. Effectively, Rosenstein would be out of the final decisions regarding the special counsel. Okay, Pierre Thomas, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.